from AliExpress. This is the module that I looking for. And what is it? It's a 35 watts DC input from 5.5 volts to 30 volts, output voltage from 0.5 volts to 30 volts, digital LCD display, automatic step up, step down, back boost converter, power supply module, adjustable board. And you can get it from AliExpress for around 6 US dollars. And I have waited and I got it. I see bubbles. Nicely wrap it. And why I'm saying that I have waiting for this module? The model is XL6009. It's a bug boost module, constant voltage, constant current, LCD version. And as I said, can handle with 35 watts from 0 to 4 amperes and what it says output current stable operation at 3 amperes output power 35 watts voltage display resolution 0 0.05 volts conversion efficiency about 88 percent working frequency 180 kilohertz the size is 66 by 48 by 21 millimeters. Mounting hole diameter 4 millimeters. And just to explain, this module is step up, step down converter with LCD screen that have two multi turn potentiometer for adjusting the constant current and constant volta voltage. The one button is for showing the in and out voltage on the display and the second button is for on off. Also we have two LEDs for indicating constant current and constant voltage. And it's nice board. It says it can handle maximum 4 amperes. And in package it comes with this self adhesive heatsink, aluminum heatsink and four holders that need to be mounted on these holes just like this okay okay and let's and press it real hard. Done. It's time for testing. Let's power up this thing in 3, 2, 1. The input voltage is 5.7 volts as I adjust on my power supply. And when you press on this button, can you see it? I forgot to remove the protector. Alright. Now you can see better. The input voltage is 5.7 volts and when you press this in and out voltage we get 12.95 volts. This is the proper step up, step down, <coughs> sorry, converter. That meaning from 5 volts can boost the voltage to 12 volts and with adjusting on this multi turn potentiometer you can adjust the voltage to how many? From 5.7 volts to maximum? Whoa! How much? 22, 23, 5, 7, 8, 29, 30, 31 and that is the maximum 31.94 volts and the module is 35 watts as we said okay
let's measure that with my multimeter. Going to DC. Okay. Come on. Why? Okay. Look. It's the same. 31.93, 31.94 volts. Let's adjust that to 12 volts now. Just to... Okay, now you can see better. A little bit more. 12.25 volts, 12.27 volts and this thing is working great. As I said, you can see the input voltage and output voltage 5.7 volts, output 12.25 volts. The current is 000, and now I will attach a light bulb, test light bulb, so I can see the, the amperes. My power supply giving 6 volts connected to the DC converter, boosting to 12 volts and monitoring the voltage on this multimeter and also you can monitor the voltage on this tiny LCD display. It shows 6 volts input, output 000 because it's not on, turning on, the lights turn it on, it's pulling 400 milliampers, the output voltage is 12 volts stable and from power supply is pulling almost one ampere. All right. I, I can increase the voltage with adjusting this potentiometer. Let's say to 12, 14 volts, let's say. All right. And the current is same, 440 milliampers is pulling 1.1 amp from my power supply. All right, and with this multi-turn potentiometer, you can adjust the current. Look, I can go. Come on, how many, how many turns? Here you go. I can adjust the current, and the current LED indica indicator is turned on. That red. LED indicates constant current and the voltage volt is dropping. The output voltage is dropping. Let's put it back on 12 volts. 12. Okay. Working fine. Now I set my electronic load to this Converter step up, step down. The input voltage will be 12.2 volts and the output voltage will be the output will be 24 volts. Increase the voltage to 24 volts. Twenty four point four. 24.6 volts on the, on the electronic load and increasing the amperes slow 400 milliampers is giving 400 milliampers right now at 24 volts with input voltage of 12 volts and from the power supply is pulling one amper and it's giving 400 milliampers before dropping the voltage, we're going to see how much current can deliver this thing. And the voltage drop. I'm going to turn it back, increase the constant current. Once again, the voltage drops. It's stable at 800 milliampers, little bit more, 
860, 900 milliamps. Let's go to 1 amp, maybe. Yes, 1 ampere can deliver 1 ampere at 24 volts, that is 24 watts. And drop the voltage. Let's increase the amperes right now. And 1.1 1 .1 ampere, little bit more. 1.3 amperes my multimeter 1.3 amperes at 24 volts and let's do the math 24 volts times 1.3 amperes that is 30 watts in description says 35 this thing can deliver 30 watts awesome this is great so it's a great module, step up, step down, converter DC to DC, input voltage from 5 volts to 30 volts and output voltage from 0.5 volts to 30 volts. And I didn't test that, can go to 0.5 volts. Let's do that. Okay. I'm gonna rotate. No, I have better idea. This is my electric screwdriver. And take a look at that. Voltage is dropping. 7 volts output input. 12 volts. Yes, 0 0.5 volts. Input 12, output 0 0.5. Now increasing the voltage. Great, it's working great. Is it hot? No, 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 working fine. On, off, on. So this thing from AliExpress is the good thing. It's a proper DC to DC converter, step up, step down converter, $6. And does the word the money? Yes. All the links will be in description below so you can check it. And I hope you liked today's video. Please give a like, share and subscribe to my channel. See ya!